Podcast with meteorologist Beverly Perry, only on Fox 47 Morning News at 7. We will be dodging some rain showers as we go through these morning hours, and it's not really that intense. We're just seeing some light to moderate rainfall pass through the region along a cold front, and on the back side of this cold front will be some cooler air for us. So as far as temperatures go right now, 60 degrees in Lansing and Mason, 61 for Jackson. Meanwhile, in Charlotte and Marshall, now down to 59 degrees. The winds mostly out of the west between about 5 and 10 miles per hour right now, but these winds are going to pick up in speed and become rather gusty as we go throughout the day today. Wind gusts are expected to be between 25 and 30 miles per hour. Those are our peak wind gusts. And as we head into this evening and into the overnight hours, the winds are going to settle for us. As far as temperatures go throughout the day today, we're going to stay on the cooler side of things. Through the 10 o'clock hour, it looks like we'll push things to about 61 degrees and by lunchtime not budging a whole lot still staying in the lower 60s but notice we'll break apart some of that cloud cover and end the day with some sunshine as high temperatures step out near 60 five degrees. So overall, we do have a cold front passing through tracking to the east. The rain showers are accompanying it, but we will clear things out. But it looks like we'll see some wraparound rain showers as the low passes through in the next couple of days. So overall, here's what it looks like through the 10 o'clock hour. Some rain showers towards our easternmost counties tracking to the eastward and we start to clear things out and break apart that cloud cover by lunchtime. But you'll notice that wind will pick up in speed and bring in some cooler air. So the actual feel like temperatures will be a touch cooler than that. As we head into the evening and overnight hours, it will be dry for us. It looks like tonight will be a partly cloudy night. This overnight low will fall into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. So another cool night will be upon us, but believe it or not, it's typical for this time of year. As we make our way through Tuesday, looks like we start the day off on the drier side of things and then we bring in some shower chances as we approach those afternoon and evening hours. And it looks like it's going to be some hit and miss activity. We're going to continue those chances as we approach the night and also as we go through a Wednesday, and it's going to be very hit and miss through the duration of this time span Wednesday or Monday through Wednesday. We're expecting to see rainfall totals between about a quarter and a half an inch. So that just gives you an idea that we're really not expecting a whole lot of rain out of this activity. Nonetheless, temperatures in the mid 60s today, scattered showers and on the breezy side. Tonight, a cool one as overnight lows fall right near 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies and the 60s are on mid 60s for Tuesday, lower 60s for Wednesday and we'll be dodging a few showers here and there. And then we dry out towards the second half of the work week, partly cloudy skies, so temperatures you guessed it, remain in the 60s. It's feeling like fall all this work week, but nonetheless, just dodging a few showers this morning, then we'll see some sunshine later on today. So it's not a complete washout whatsoever. No, 